Good morning, it's just after five o'clock um, on Wednesday morning as we come to the end of a very tough year and I'm down at uh, Thurrock Council's Oliver Close Environment Department, the, the depot here in uh, Oliver Road in West Thurrock, where as you can see the bin crews that service our borough are setting out and the place is just coming to live early in the morning as these services which keep the borough running are starting out for another day. And those of you who follow Nub News would probably not be surprised to hear that uh, we've been following events uh, among the council's environment team for some little time now. There's been a, a dispute over pay and conditions. There's been a, a, lots of talk about terms. And uh, what happened yesterday was that I got um, a couple of calls from the guys and gals who work within this department who uh, asked me to retain their anonymity because quite frankly they say they're frightened for losing their job. Um, and there are going to be two sides to this story and I'm going to read you a statement from Thurrock Council in a minute um, which is the other side. But basically what is, is alleged is that the senior management within Thurrock Council are effectively trying to cover up, uh, it was described as COVID is rife at this site where our bin crews, our road uh, cleaners, um, other guys who go out. There's a fleet depot in here where uh, engineers maintain the vehicles and I'm told that COVID is particularly bad within there. Uh, the council stressed that uh, services are going on as normal, bins are being emptied in the borough um, and they're not saying everything in the garden is rosy. They have acknowledged that there are issues with COVID as there are almost anywhere in Thurrock this moment in time. It's one of the country's absolute hotspots um, and there's massive impact on our way of life. Indeed, I, I'm expecting later on today to hear that uh, our local hospital has gone into a black zone. It won't be accepting any more new patients because of COVID. So that's how serious things are. Um, but what is, is quite clear, because I've had several conversations with people, um, including a tearful wife who is frightened that her husband is here having to do his job uh, at a time when he feels that he has been put at risk and his family have been put at risk by a lack of um, proper safety. Uh, apparently the health and safety on this site is less than it should be. It is alleged, and I keep stressing this because it's important to say that there are two sides to every story. And in fairness to Thurrock Council's hierarchy, I confronted them with the allegations of workers last night and within an hour, I got a response back from Thurrock Council. And I have to thank them for that and I applaud them for that. And it's a, it's a very much a rarity that the council does respond. And they were quite adamant that uh, there are not so many problems down here as I'm being told there are. So I, all I do is a media person, I put it all in the public domain. And I think it's important to put this in the public domain because there is no doubt that within Thurrock Council, there is a, a, systematic, a systematic way of managing people. There is undoubtedly, in my experience and opinion, a culture of bullying among some departments. Um, it's rule defied by fear and conquer in many departments. I, I speak to an awful lot of people who work for Thurrock Council and there are some very happy people working at Thurrock Council. There are some people who are doing a magnificent job. But it's fair to say that there are also a huge amount of very unhappy people within Thurrock Council. Anyway, what the council uh, have told me is that, uh, that there, there really aren't any significant problems down here. Uh, we spoke to, uh, or sorry, we contacted the council leader, Rob Gledhill, CC'd in um, the chief executive, Lynn Carpenter. And I think it's important that I give the council's full, in statement in fully. You can read all this on Thurrock Nub News, but basically a statement from the council issued last night says, the council can categorically confirm there is no cover-up. Officers of the council have been affected by COVID-19 and the council continues, as has been the case for the last nine months, to provide support through the appropriate mechanisms to those officers. The welfare of its staff is a key priority for the council and every action is taken to ensure their ongoing safety. The number of officers off with COVID-19 is monitored on a daily basis, which includes those self-isolating. The waste team, and this was yesterday, the waste team did complete fully again today. So while there are members of the team affected, the service has continued to be delivered. There is a full system of support available to all officers who may be concerned about COVID-19. 
and this is communicated widely at least weekly as a reminder to all the staff in relation to test and trace on the site fears uh, by the uh, workers they say these comments are incorrect the council has invested heavily in its own test and trace system which is proving more effective than the national one and is therefore increasing the ability of Thurrock to respond to this global pandemic and the latest strain of the virus which is affecting millions of people with regards to keeping the union and the staff up to date meetings have been ongoing very regularly and they are fully cited on the covid 19 issue and impact how the council is supporting officers and how it is dealing with COVID-19 to keep staff safe. Well, I've just spoken to a few people as they've gone into work. The, the guys and gals that are coming out in the vehicles that you've just seen, and I've got to be honest with you, they say it's a different story. Um, I haven't asked anybody to go on camera because I wouldn't want to put them in the invidious position of being bullied by the management. I'm told the very senior management of the Environment Department haven't been seen down here for a long time. I'm told the health and safety team manager down here puts in odd visits. A general consensus opinion is to be the hierarchy are sat at home, in the safety, working from home, and they're letting other people go out. There is a complete lack of leadership on the ground from the front, it is said. What should also be said, I believe, is that Thurrock Council has 49 councillors. It's their job to challenge the officer cohort. It's their job to look at these issues. It's their job to raise questions. If I'm quite frank, a significant number of 39 councillors, uh, 49 councillors don't really seem to give a damn if I'm truthful. Uh, they collect their allowance. They don't ask many questions. And we trundle on, as is the case in local administration across the country. Sadly, I'm afraid Thurrock Council, in terms of its council, generally has the opinion of being a a rotten borough. It's, uh, it does a huge amount of fantastic work. It does a huge amount of unsun work. And I'm always keen to try and show that Thurrock Council, there is another side to it that is unseen. There is a huge amount of work that's done that's positive. Um, some of you who follow Thurrock Dub News may remember a piece I wrote earlier this year when I invited readers to highlight the good work of the council. And I received the names of a certain number of officers who I was told did a great job. I contacted the council, I said I'd love to feature them, I'd love to highlight them, I'd love to highlight all the positive things that go on in this borough. I got no response from the council. So the spirit is willing on this side to highlight all the good things that go on. Um, as I say, I feel it's important to put this in the public domain. I'm told by the grassroots of the guys who work here that there are issues. I'm told there are very serious issues. I'm told there are genuine fears. Um, but whatever happens, as you can see, the bin wagons are still rolling. Your bins will still be emptied here in Thurrock, and that's great. But it's down to the, the, the troops on the ground. They go one vehicle off to do its work. Others are getting ready to go out. A number have already gone out, and we're not even here at uh, half past five. So this is Neil Spate, Thurrock Nub News, at the Oliver Road, uh, Oliver Close Environment Department. Um, all I'm doing is putting these facts in the public domain because I've been asked to by workers at this depot who say that uh, they're not being managed properly and they fear not just for their jobs but for their health. Read the story on Thurrock Dub News, ask questions of your local councillor and make your own mind up.